This is the daily update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Monday, July 20th, 2020. So this week in these updates, I'm hoping that we can spend some time talking about change. This has been a year of change at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. It was a year of change before the pandemic, and it is much more so now. So over this week of daily updates, I hope to take some time to talk about change in churches, how it happens, why it happens, how it is both, in Jürgen Moltmann's still lovely formulation, a continual problem and a continual opportunity. One of the joys that I've had this spring is the opportunity to take some classes at Wesley Theological around church leadership. And part of that is reading a bunch of literature on change management, stuff published by Harvard and Stanford, a lot of business review, review articles. And that is important. We as churches are not as unique as we often think we are. But we are a church. And that means that we should ground this work of change in theology. So Theodore Palmer, Theodore Parker, excuse me, the 19th century Unitarian minister had a concept of the transient and permanent in religion. To Parker, you can think of religion as two things. First, the permanent is the ineffable, transcendent experience that is at the core of faith. It is that thing that's hard to put into words, but absolutely vital. What keeps you tied to this faith, even in moments of disagreement or heartbreak. And then the transient, to Parker, is all the rest of it. And Parker was writing in the context of Unitarian Christianity, so he put it this way. Anyone who traces the history of what is called Christianity will see that nothing changes more from age to age than the doctrines taught as Christian, and insisted on as essential to Christianity and personal salvation. What is falsehood in one province passes for truth in another. The heresy of one age is the orthodox belief and the only infallible rule of the next. The requirement for us, then, is to ground ourselves in the midst of change with an understanding of what does not change. To make the distinction between the transient and the permanent. The, the, what is permanent is the essence of who we are and what our faith proclaims. And if we have an understanding of that, then we can be confident in changing the rest. The danger in church change is mistaking the transient for the permanent, mistaking the thing that is particular to the context of the church that you're talking about with the, the rock-solid core of faith. So knowing which is which is really important. The pandemic changes a whole lot of what's transient, right? But the pandemic does not and cannot change the permanent in our faith. Now that does not mean that change is easy. And that's where we'll pick up tomorrow. For now, have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.